Hi there, I am TP8000CFV, and today I'm going to address a very important and very interesting constraint which Blender has to offer. Um, I am sorry it is not the script constraint. The script constraint. First of all, I don't know the yeah I don't know the first thing about Python. But it's just as interesting. It's the action constraint. Now, if you know, Blender has had several improvements, especially on the constraint system and the cloth simulator, which I have yet to... Well, I've tampered with it, but I haven't really mastered it. But, as you know, the older versions of Blender, you could only drive an action constraint by rotation. Well, now you can drive it by scaling the target and moving the target, so size and location. And basically, I'm going to go through how to make an action, how to set up an action constraint, and I'm going to show you how to drive it by all three methods, rotation, location, and scale. So I'm going to open up Blender open up blender thank you gosh just gonna start with the default scene going to delete the cube go to front view shift C to make the cursor at 0 0 C for center I'm going to add my armature and the reason I'm using armatures is because um, I think action constraints only apply to bones for this reason, when you key a bone's scale, rotation, or location, it is stored in actions. The information for that, well, the information for that is stored in an action. Which is why I believe it only w applies for bones. Go into edit mode. Just make something very simple and your action can be whatever you want now if you know what an action is it's basically blender talk for animation so I'm going to open up an action editor where are you there you are okay and it is an animation so I'm going to need the help of the timeline if I can open one up not join S split, dang it. So, there we go. Okay, make sure we're at frame one. That's a very important. So, and I, I'm, one, I'm a little bit lazy and I want to get this done quickly. So I'm going to turn auto key framing on, which is just that little record button. I'm also going to use the manipulators and turn it to, gl to normal. And uh, switch the rotation manipulator on. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make this basically two halves of an animation. So the first half would be on frame one, the second half would be on frame three, and the rest position would be on frame two. So I'm going to key just these two bones and hit R and well I only keyed that one and hit R and then you basically keyed it now it's going to basically making a finger type thing I'm going to rotate it back like that and rotate it like this and there's our action I'm going to name this action fingroll f-i-n-g-r-o-l-l -L. And I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to turn auto keyframing off. And also, I want to make copy the name of the um, the the copy the name of the action by hovering my mouse over it and hitting Control C. Okay. Now we need a target. I'm going to show you scale first and how to drive it. And basically, that'll be end of this part of the t this tutorial. So go into edit mode and let's add that bone. So just grab 
the tip of this bone and extrude out here. And grab the tip of this bone, Shift S, cursor to selection. Then grab this tip, Shift S, selection to cursor. And hit Control N to recalculate bone roll angles. And basically rotate it like that. Don't mind that, that's just my dog. So, yes, it's a purse dog. Shut up. So grab this bone, the target, and then grab this bone, hit Control alt c action. Now, if you notice here, the action constraint, it has the action that it wants, it has the target, it has the name of the armature, the start frame, end frame, min, max, and pick local space. Now, what's the name of the action? That action is fing roll. So, and notice something it went all screwy. Just simply uh, don't fret. Just don't deselect. Just don't deselect the bone. We want it to work on Y size. We want the start frame to be two. We want the end frame, yeah. Now, the minimum is the default size of the of the targets, and that default size would be one. And the maximum is the, well, the the size, since it's scale, it'll depend, it depends on the size of the targets for the action to be completed. Now, it's going to be scaling down, so I want to, the action to be completed when it's 0.5 smaller. So I'll make the, make it complete itself at 0.5. And if I scale this bone, as you can see, the action is being driven. But not on this bone. There's a handy way you can do that. Or well, actually, um, I need to add another action constraint. So just grab the target, grab the bone, crawl, see action. I know I'm going a little fast, but I don't know how long this thing's going to keep on recording. Now, this time, and make the start frame 2, but this time make the end frame 3. And the default size would be one and this time I want it, since I'm going to be scaling it out I want it to be I want it to complete itself when it's 0.5 bigger so 1.5 so there that's a driven action by scaling now I want this constraint to be copied to this bone so I'm going to grab this bone and grab that bone hit control C copy constraints all and there you go driving an action by scale Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. The next one is rotation.